Howdy everyone, my name is Runic Griffin, and I hope this week's midweek mix-up was enjoyable for y'all. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my channel or the description down below after you finish this video, of course. Now before we begin, I want to give my shout out to my amazing friends at Atomic Cotton. Absolutely fantastic and comfortable shirts with the most incredible prints. Horror t-shirts with art by fans for fans. A link to their website will also be in the description down below. Now with that, welcome back to Fran Bo. When last we left off, we found our way into this disturbing house of doors and other madness here in the fifth reality. Here is hoping that we can go ahead and escape. Now, last time we left off, I was stumped as to what to do with these water balloons. But, if I remember correctly, back in the original room, we looked out the window and there was a tree that was getting eaten by a Kamala, which of course is weak to water. So, I think what we need to do is look out this window, see that Kamala, and... Is it really going to take all three of them? Yep. Wow! I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. There. A piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Hehe, <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. I can't believe that stumped me last time, and it's like, I... I actually thought about it for a second, and then was like, huh. The, th the things you think about in the middle of the night... Aww, us and Mr. Midnight. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Alright, now that we have this, we can go ahead and go into this room with the big cat that has the hatch in the back. It's a hatchback cat. Go ahead and head on up. And with this branch, I'm quite sure that we can grab the key. Fantastic, I can reach it now. Now I have the key. And now I assume we're going into the bloody room because of course we are. I assume this is what is referred to as the heart of the household. <laughs> Creature from above, get out from Maduka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you have been into a thirsta. Horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Ha! 
Hello, goat. You look a little bit like Remor. Ah, oh, hello, little boar. The floor is beating like a heart. Is this Mabuka's heart? Huh, you don't scare me a bit. Wow, what a big, beautiful face. Maybe this is... <laughs> Wait up. Mabuka, the awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human? In Mabuka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You were selected by the fine realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Volokas from the Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Franpo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason. If it makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself. The truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Now that's what I call a heartbreaker. <laughs> Well, this is... Huh... Oh, the creature's body is made out of baby faces! Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, huh? You little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait your turn in the waiting room. Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Set. 
seven. Let's take a number. I hope I get a good one. Uh, I wonder how long I must wait with this ticket. doesn't have a keyhole. Ugh, I wonder how much longer I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days! Ha, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it, may it must be my turn very soon. I have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Ahem. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes. Become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. Why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of a mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough. It's impossible to talk to sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense, anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all, then? You mean Mabuka? No, Rabu Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't make it make the wait go faster. Huh, alright, thank you for nothing. That must be the number display. Won't work, huh? I can't do that. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. <laughs> not really, no, I'm not interested. Now I have to... This one says he has number two, but what do you have? I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. I'd like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. So this is the number display.
listen, they see, and they touch. Don't wait and leave us alone. I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children. Did you know that we children are actually immature? Done. Hmm. To get so far in again just to get stuck. What if I take a horn from the ram? You see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No. I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure. If I'm still here when you come back. to know what illnesses he has. illnesses though. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has number ticket ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? 
I need his ticket. Yes. Crying all the tears you can cry until you feel this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. Now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can get back to Ithursta and be happy. Gross. Mmm, lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to that critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. That was a little bit easier than I anticipated, but okay. Let us hop on down the ladder. Baby, baby faced person. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh? Trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No. Leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. Here you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Hey! I have ticket number two. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty? Don't worry, that's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Ha, <laughs> lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why must I call you? Why can't I just make... Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, alright, I'll go make a call then. And if I remember, it's through 105? Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. It's Fran Bo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No? No? Eh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. I mean, honestly, going to and making up doctor's appointments and stuff like that does really feel like this sometimes. Or you're just going through so many hoops just trying to get one thing solved. Yes, Franbo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. Doctor, we'll see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Alright, thank you. I'm s I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew. Yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Well, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. 
I guess that was supposed to be a jump scare. And of course, it's Redmore. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remma, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black. Prince of Darkness. I think Ozzy would uh, beg to differ on that one. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile. Easy to corrupt. No, it can't be. Stop it! I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please! Who was it, my darling? Who killed your pet? The dull little critter must suffer and die before coming a star. That's... That's crazy, man. I, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. The monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. A tank with water. Good. Why does the brain have two sides? Hee <laughs> hee, we would look so funny without skin. Okay, that's what, like, a psychopath would say. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please, don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirst of my darling. Philantris can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dern, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Huh, these buttons don't do anything. Oh. Hey. hey. Ouch! Electric shock! Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, I think. A syringe. It has a red fluid inside. What can it be? The contents are the same color as my pills. Can it be? Well, before we go injecting ourselves, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end this episode. I want to thank y'all for watching. In case you missed this week's midweek mix-up, or just want more of my content, check out my channel for the playlists. Subscribe to my channel while there if you haven't yet. Hit the like button on this video and leave a comment down below of what game you'd like to see me play more regularly once I've completed Fran Bow. Don't forget to check out Atomic Cotton's website. And I hope you have a great day.